Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome to another video here on avforums.tv. In this episode, we travel to Computers Unlimited, the distributors for Canton speakers. So, who are Canton and what products should we look for in the new range? Well, Canton's a German company that's been um, at the forefront of loudspeaker technology for about 38 years. It's just that in the UK, it hasn't been um, particularly um, visible. Um, that's all changing now, of course. But the the the, the nice thing about it, it's a family-run business. The owner is was uh, uh, the current owner was one of the original founding members, um, and likewise, their their research and development techniques are uh, um, in, are at the forefront of loudspeaker design. And and in fact, actually, their their head of uh, head of engineering has been there for. 12, 15 years, so he's, you know, very much embedded within the Canton way. Um, it's one of Europe's biggest loudspeaker brands as well, which is why it's interesting that it's only really now that it's beginning to make a, a bit more of a push into the UK, but uh, we're confident with this range that there's a, a good opportunity to do that. Uh, with um, this new range where in fact 40 new models were launched and that was across both the stereo, more traditional um, two-channel market as well as uh, their complete AV packs. Um, with this number of models, obviously, there's an awful lot has gone into changing those. But generally, it's been about filtering down the technologies from their higher end uh, products, including the reference series, for example, all the way down to um, and bringing that technology down to some of the uh, uh, the models uh, uh, further down the range. So yes, yeah, so with the with the, all of the new models, we've. Uh, taken the technologies from the Reference and Vento series, which are at the higher end of the range, and we filtered down that technology into the other, into the other um, series. Um, of particular interest is the, a new product to the Chrono SL range, which is the 570, and that uses a new driver geometry to enable a big floor standing speaker to, go in, to fit into smaller rooms, so you get that presence of a bigger speaker but it still works within smaller rooms. We've also completely changed products from other series, including there's a new, complete new range of Carat, um, which includes two floor standards and two stand mount speakers, as well as a center and a subwoofer. Um, the complete uh, GLE, which is the entry level range, and this is the first time that we've brought that reference technology into that range, and uh, it's made for a, uh, a significantly big improvement in terms of its sound quality. Um, as well as all of the AV packs have had a complete um, overall, overhaul, including uh, um, uh, crossover technology as well as some driver technology as well. So it's a complete change. So starting with the, with the reference, which is the, the top of Canton's range, um, they brought in all of their newest, latest technology into that to make what is predominantly a two-channel series of products. Um, starting with the, the 9.2, which is a stand mount speaker at £2,700, all the way up to the 1.2, which is £18,000 a pair, and are physically huge. But the, the point about them is it's, non, it's no compromise as far as Canton's concerned. And it also gives them the leading time and uh, uh, opportunity to develop new technologies, which they can then filter down to the rest of their range. And that's predominantly what they've, uh, what they've done now with this, this latest uh, relaunch of the rest of the series. From the reference, we go down to the Vento, where uh, we see, again, similar technologies such as the wave surround on the drive units and also the, uh, um, uh, the use of um, specific plastics, to, which are incredibly hard and dense, which are the ideal mounting for drive units and uh, uh, diaphragms, etc. Um, that range consists of, uh, again, uh, three, floor, three floor standers and, uh, and a stand mount speaker, as well as center channel speakers to make up the AV package. Similarly, between the two also is they have both have curved side cabinets, and this is ideal for, for um, the reduction of uh, uh, internal standing waves, which is, has always been a bit of a bugbear of loudspeaker design. When we get to the more conventional square box cabinets, we um, start with the new carrot range, and what's particularly interesting about that range is the fact that they've designed it so that its front-on dimensions are incredibly small and, and thin, which means that as a floor standing speaker, for example, the 770, is not nearly as imposing as a much wider speaker in, a, in an average living room. However, to get the bass response that you would want from a normal, stand a normal floor standing speaker, it's got a side firing driver, a bass driver, that therefore gives you the power and all the presence you would want from a normal, floor, from a floor standing speaker, but in a, in a slimmer package. Um, Going further down the range, we then come to the Chrono SL series, and one product specifically to note here is the 570. And this is a speaker that's been designed and is new to the range, that's been designed to, to give all of the presence and uh, um, give all of the presence of a, sta a floor standing speaker, but 
enables it to work in a, in a much smaller room, so you don't get the sort of the boom and the, uh, and the uh, um, uh, resonances that you might get from a much bigger speaker within a smaller room. Um, from then we go down to the Chrono series, where pretty much the technology is very similar to the Chrono SL series, yet the cabinet is finished in a wood effect finish now, and uh, yet it still keeps the same gloss gloss frontage of the Chrono series, the Chrono SL series, but it keeps it, uh, but it gives a, gives you a, a more of a, a woody effect to the to the to the look of the loudspeaker. At the entry level of the range, we have the GLE, and this is possibly one of the areas where the range has had the most new technology added to it. So again, we get the the wave roll surrounds that we get even in the reference series, um, but now we have it in a um, a vinyl wrapped. Finish, so it's an incredibly good value for money, um, yet it offers the all of the technology throughout the rest of the range. So to give you just an idea of some of the generic technology within, within this new Canton range, first of all I'm just going to point out a couple of bits on this driver here. And The first one is the actual basket that the driver is sitting is a, is a composite material that's incredibly stiff, yet also very light as well. So it means that you don't, it means that it's the perfect housing for a drive unit. Secondly, as you probably see when you look at the rest of the range, Canton generally will always use aluminium drivers and cones for their uh, mid-base and base units and they've been doing this for years and in fact were one of the originators of this particular technology. Um, of specific note on the, on the, uh, on the base drivers, uh, Canton developed what they call the wave roll surround and what this is is um, a traditional base driver will have um, just a, a rubber suspension on the edge and what that is is to keep the cone central. Um, however, there are many effects that they have and this is where Canton have picked up a lot on this through their um, uh, laser interferometry technology where they can see actually what happens to the driver as it's moving in and out. And they find that um, first of all the, a traditional roll surround is limiting the excursion of a driver which means it can only go in and out to a certain, a certain throw. Secondly, as, as a signal heads out of a cone, it actually hits this rubber roll surround and rebounds and bounces back into the center and that actually gives you a distortion because it's a slight delay as it goes backwards and forwards. What the wave surround does is it, in effect it doubles the amount of excursion that a driver has, which of course is therefore better for it, it means that it can flow more naturally. Secondly, this wave surround eradicates all of that, that uh, um, distortion that would would actually rebound off the off the, um, the a traditional rubber roll surround um, by in effect having this uh, this trench here which it, it gets into and therefore has nothing to rebound back off. So it gives you in effect a much cleaner performance and also um, uh, a better purer throw backwards and forwards. Sandy, in rounding up the range, obviously we're talking about the four standards and uh, the shelf mount speakers here. Um, fantastic range. What about those that are into AV and maybe don't want such a large package in their living room? Sure. Well, first of all, it's, it's worthwhile saying that all of these ranges do actually have centre speakers and subwoofers available for them, so you can make complete 5.1 packages. But what is a big part of Canton's business is their dedicated 5.1 sub-satellite systems and also their, their column aluminium speakers as well. Um, of course, with this new range, a lot of that technology that I've already described has been implemented into those and they've also been um, highly tuned to work very effectively, obviously for AV Performance 5.1, but also to be used for stereo as well for those that want to use their systems for multi-purpose use. Um, specifically, uh, there are, uh, the, there's the 151 system, for example, which has um, a really nice, bigger, a much bigger centre channel than it used to have because the dialogue is so important for films, of course. Um, but the, the satellites have been increased in their size slightly and also the, the sound quality of them has been, as I say, tailored to be a little bit more lifelike for for audio, for sound, music quality as well. Um, the subwoofers have also all been changed. It's been a big thing of Canton's has just been to upgrade the performance of those to allow them to integrate better with the systems that they're supporting. Andy, thanks very much. Thank you very much.